What's up, everybody? UFC 175 this Saturday night, live on pay-per-view. The middleweight title, Chris Weidman, the champ, defending against Lyoto Machida. The Bantamweight Women's Championship, Ronda Rousey defending her belt against Alexis Davis. And, thank God, the return of the healthy Stefan Struve. He will be taking on Matt Mitrione. We also have uh, Uriah Hall will be taking on Tiago Santos. And, speaking of Uriah's, Uriah Faber will be live and free on Fox Sports 1, taking on Bruce Leroy. The prelims, live and free on Fox Sports 1, Uriah Faber will be taking on Bruce Leroy. Now, Sunday, live and free on Fox Sports 1, we got Frankie Edgar taking on BJ Penn and the finale of The Ultimate Fighter on Sunday, live and free on Fox Sports 1. And I put together a blog of my trip to New York, then out to Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Fight Week Blog Week. What's up, guys? Good morning. How are you? What's up, man? Good to see you. What's up, brother? My man. Not worried, buddy. You good? Yeah? Good to see you. Yeah? Did you have fun last night? I had a ball. Good. Welcome home. Thank you. What's up, How are you, man? All right, I'll see you out there. I guess this is a nice welcome for two guys who I really love for being here. Mike Tyson and Dana White. How did you guys meet? Because I, I love the fact that you guys are friends. Well, where did we meet? Didn't we just meet Golden Globes? Golden Globes yeah, yeah, so way back in the day. Yeah. You know, I, I've been involved in boxing since I was 19, and, and I worked out in the same gyms in Las Vegas that, you know, the difference is, is when Mike would come, they'd kick everybody out of the gym and shut the thing down when Mike came. But I'll bring you back in. <laughs> <laughs> and Dana flew himself in from Las Vegas and is going back to Vegas with Mike and then off to fucking China. So what you guys have done for me, I will always love you for. Thank you guys. Ultimate Fighting Championships, that's right, UFC will be back in China for the third time with a fight taking place in Macau in August on the 23rd. And it's President Dana White making his first Pan-Asian trip, and he joins us in our Uncle studio this Monday morning. Dana, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, good morning. This is where it all started. This is where our martial arts began. It's a no-brainer for us to uh, uh, not only come into China, but Asia. Where's Bruce? My favorite place? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm still, I'm still cruising around, looking at everything. I'm going to see the Bruce Lee statue. You know Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee? Yeah. This is fucking awful. You know what? It's getting cloudier by the minute. I lost all the fog just dropped down and covered everything. Where'd he get? When he first walked out, that was sick. You yeah, know? It's gonna start coming down in a second here. Yeah, right here. I was acting like a tough guy. I'm glad you brought the uh, umbrella though, brother. I was like, yeah, I don't need the umbrella. We'd be heading back to the fucking hotel right now to get me some new clothes. Hiding out from the rain. We just got buried. I was trying to act like a tough guy and didn't want an umbrella. Thank God these guys brought umbrellas. Bruce Lee statue. 
<laughs> Your luggage for this afternoon, anything you're going to need. Have you got everything from the hotel? What's up, up Dan? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? Good. Hold on, babe. We'll talk to you later. The boss hey. man. Hey, hold on, hold on. How are you, honey? Hey. <laughs> you missing daddy FaceTime? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm stuck with my opponent in there. I'm like, okay, yeah. enough's enough. All right, see you, babe. Bye-bye. Gotta go. What's up, my man? Okay. How you doing? Good to see How you? you doing? Very well, very well. What's up, brother? Good? Yeah? They always say eat seafood. That's fried with the shell on. Apparently you eat the shell. I heard you say you have to eat the shell. Because for a while there, I was like, how the hell do I take this shell off with chopsticks, okay? So there's your seafood, you have five a day, you're good to go, right Kong? <laughs> Me and Kong have agreed, we're fighting at 2 or 5 for this one. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in Hong Kong still and I wake up this morning because I always tell you bad shit happens every day to find out that Hector Lumpard is hurt and out of the co-main event with Dong Young Kim. And uh, luckily the press conference hasn't happened yet. It's still three hours away. All right, buddy. Bye. Fucking done, boys. Done and done. <laughs> That's awesome. See? Turned your day around again, Ike. There you I go. Know, it's just been a roller coaster, man. <laughs> I don't want anybody knowing this until we talk face to face. I want to talk face to face with the guys from uh, Macau, and I want to talk face to face with with Kim. Mm -hmm. Come on, in, boys. Uh, tell them I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is Hector Lombard is out. He's hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's the number. He's the number six ranked guy in the world. You know, it's a big opportunity for him. We got Tyrone Woodley, number four. Lombard Lombard is ranked number six. Woodley's number four. Lombard is you can Aggressive? I want to. Yeah. You, you don't think, let me tell you what, Tyrone Woodley just lost that fight, his last fight. I pretty much guarantee you he's going to be very aggressive. Tell him I said congratulations. All right, here. Do you need to see the picture? Yeah. Here. Congratulations. And thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, boys. Chill. <clears throat> I'm Mark Fisher, I'm EVP and Managing Director of the UFC here in Asia. It's my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Dana White on his very first trip to Hong Kong. Dana. Stand on a box here. What's up, China? How are you guys? Come fight night, we'll find out. I don't predict any fights. I know it's going to be war, and Michael Bisbane always comes to fight, so I'm, I'm very excited about that, you know, for this fight. Well, let me answer that question for you. It's going to end with me winning the fight. It's as simple as that. <laughs> right. Rich Franklin got knocked out. I ain't getting knocked out. I'm coming August 23rd to the Venetian to kick some ass. Get ready. <laughs> Yo, We're on our way down to do, I guess, Suma. It's Suma Obea, I believe it is. And to kind of just do some uh, sumo wrestling and to put it in your repertoire to be a better fighter. This is called Oh, this is Oop. 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 
you have to do both of your hands like this and go to right. You have to keep up your left hand mm, like that. Oh, gotcha. No, you don't have to, you just go like this and go. You can't believe me, you can't believe me. myself that was the first time doing sumo but very interesting probably put it in my technique at home um, I just gotta find some big guys hi guys hi. Oh, what's happening how are you oh, on behalf of UFC we're delighted to be back in Tokyo today to announce UFC Fight Night, Japan 2014. Thank you. <laughs> look what he's been able to do. Not only has he, has he been on an unbelievable run, he put on the best heavyweight fight I have ever seen in any MMA organization ever when he fought down in Australia against Bigfoot Silva. One of the greatest fights I've ever seen in my life and the best heavyweight fight I have ever seen. Roy Nelson likes to go in and he likes to knock people out.